Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another grounded build video where today we are hopping in and talking pond exploration. Yes, you guys have asked me to make a pond build and here it is. This build is all about swimming extraordinarily fast getting yourself a lot of auction build to stay down in the pond for a long time. There's actually two different ways you can play this build and I'm gonna show you guys both of them now. Wow. So first of all, let's talk armor, let's talk weapon, let's talk all of that, shall we? So first things first, I'm using the Widow Dagger and a Fire Ant Shield. Do you need to use a shield? No. Why am I using the dagger? Because there are things inside of the pond that you're going to need to chop like to get other things like your milk molars that are down in the pond so i went with a widow dagger a spider fang dagger would work as well because you only need tier two in order to cut through most of the branches that are down there or the roots so this one would work out for you but i like the widow dagger because it can literally one hit kill tadpoles two hit kill water boatmen three hit kill um the diving bell spiders so all in all powerful thing to have on you i like to keep it on me it has had a debuff since um the original 1.0 launch but i still think that it's pretty good fire and shield like i said this is just out there just to give you something something there's not really a swimming charm but i went ahead and put on thor's pendant because it gives you a little bit of extra stamina so all in all it's good it also gives you a little bit more attack power things like that bubble helm we are literally going into the pond so having the most oxygen possible is needed upper body is up to you when I say it's up to you, I mean it's really up to your play style, however you want to go with it. If it was me, I'd probably throw on the Widow Spalders just because that's going to give me a little bit extra um, damage when I'm fighting. If you want a little bit of extra stamina, you can throw on a Grub Chest Plate that's going to help you have a little bit more stamina. If you get it down sleek, you're going to get hyper stamina. All in all, it's a good thing to have, right? So go down and get that. All right. And then finally, this last one is Fin Flops Plus. Finflops Plus specifically, you need to get it by unlocking Finflops and then getting the upgrade from the Burgle Chip in the Raw Science Research Station. You go ahead and get this. It gives you faster swim speed. And when you go all the way up, it gives you hyper stamina, I believe, is what its sleek path is. So, and the Bubble Helm does the same thing, hyper stamina on sleek path. But this set is purely made to explore the pond. It's extraordinarily fast. Now, before we get into skills, I want to show you guys exactly what we can do right now. Now, notice how quickly I'm already moving. This is due to the quickness that is a skill that I have on. In case you guys were wondering, Sim, how the heck are you running so fast? It's not a glitch. It's literally just a skill that's in the game now. Now, you have 180 seconds or 178 seconds of oxygen already, and you already swim pretty freaking fast with this build on without adding anything else to it but we're not done here this build also requires you to make a food item and one of two different smoothies and that changes up really how this is played so let's go up to the top here and we're going to get ourselves out of here there we go all right let's talk food items i got two different well i got one different food item and that is tap tadpole kit pudding the tadpole pudding more or less it is a fantastic food for pond exploration. It gives you well-fed and meal. It also gives you veteran diver and swim speed, allowing you to move that much faster. And it gives you veteran diver, allowing you to breathe for that much longer underwater. The water boatman soup, it gives you swim speed, but it doesn't give you the veteran diver. And I haven't really noticed that much of a difference between these two on swim speed. So I'm gonna go with veteran diver, the swim speed too. You do need to use tadpole jerky in order to make this one, as well as mint pieces, and I think it's lily pad wax in order to make this one. But all in all, fantastic food item, especially if you're going to be exploring the pond. I'm going to go ahead and eat one now to show you guys how much oxygen I have now. So now I have 600 oxygen, and I'm swimming even faster. But... The fun doesn't end there, y'all. We're not quite done yet with what we can add to make this even more powerful. Yes, I am talking smoothies, and specifically sticky smoothies. Use sticky smoothies because sticky smoothies, their effects last twice as long, and it gives you healing over time. So, that's why I had sticky smoothies. Now, you have fluid flappers, which could make it so you swim faster. It's up to you if you want to swim a little bit faster, but I don't know, y'all. This is already pretty fast. Nothing's really going to outrun you while you're like this okay and you're going to be able to outrun the koi fish when you're like this so do you really need to swim faster i don't really think so i think for all of us who are down here exploring the pond looking for everything 
you can use the other smoothie. The other smoothie would be... Liquid Gills. Liquid Gills gives you Veteran Diver again. Now, let's go up top. So I have 500 and... What is it? 593 oxygen... 593 seconds of oxygen right now. If I use Liquid Gills... I now have 742 seconds of oxygen, okay? To give you an example, or to give you a heads up, that's 12 minutes straight of being underwater. You don't need to resurface for 12 minutes. That means you can literally go through and explore everything down here that you want to. Now, if you don't need the extra oxygen, you can go ahead and use the fluid flippers smoothie and it will or slop or soup or whatever you want to call it nowadays. Um, and it will give you enough speed to be able to be, you know, wicked fast underwater, kind of like you are above water with the uh, build that I just put out earlier today or yesterday, depending on when this video goes up. I made like a super speed build. But yeah, if you had any problems being able to go around and explore everything in the under pond before or in the pond itself, this build, you will no longer have that issue at all. And you can go over and just grab yourself a really quick bubble from somewhere or just kill things and you will get oxygen back. So really powerful build, really good for exploration, guys. You guys can go through and grab every single thing you want to in the game that's in the pond with this build. There's different caves you can bring yourself into, including this one, which I believe is the Abomination Totem Cave. Nope, this is just the Raw Science Cave, or the, the uh, Milk Molar Cave. Come over here and grab this for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom, extra Milk Molar. Now you see why I gave us a good old dagger to use. But let's go out here and let's talk perks here really quick. Perks, guys, as we have them that are sitting right here. We have Meat Shield for extra health. You get this from Burgle. Then we have the Koi Fish. Oh, crap. Koi Fish. Not good. Swimming away. No thank you. Remember what I said about being able to outswim the Koi Fish? Yep, you definitely can. You get out of his aggro range so quickly that he's like, oh. All right, well, see you later, man. All right. You get Buff Lungs. Also, Burgle. Natural Explorer. This is the quickness. This is how you get this one. I keep calling it the quickness, but it's Natural Explorer. You get this by discovering locations in the backyard. Mertine. Mertine gives you minor swim speed and junior diver, allowing you to have more oxygen. This is going to make it so you swim faster and gives you more oxygen. Fantastic. You get this by exploring and finding things that are underwater. Cardio fan. Cardio fan you get by ex exhausting your tiny little body over and over and over again, aka just use your stamina all the time, sprinting all the time and stuff, and you'll get uh, cardio fan. It's going to give you hyper stamina and exhaustion recovery. That means your stamina is going to recharge faster when it's all the way drained and when it's not all the way drained. So that's why I went ahead and went with that. And then lastly, actually, that's that's all five. That is all five. So, yeah, that is the the complete build, guys. Like I said, it's crazy good. For you to be able to swim, now, the, the the smoothie doesn't last as long as I would like it to, but for you to be able to swim for 700 seconds underwater, or if you drink this one and giving yourself a little bit extra swim speed, I mean, like, when I say it's a little bit extra swim speed, it is a little bit extra swim speed. But being able to use this to allow yourself to move that much quicker and be able to explore everything in the upper and lower pod is super, super, super value, guys. But that is going to do it for this one. I hope you guys liked this build. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. And also, go down in those comments and let me know other builds you guys would like to see. Somebody asked me for a stun build recently, and there's going to be a brand new bow build that's coming out that is wicked powerful. But thank you guys all so much for watching this one. Make sure you guys hit that that like button make sure you leave me a comment down below and please don't forget to subscribe and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one